Hello, Happy New Year. Hope all your dreams and wishes come true. This story is called Sincerely Emerson. A girl, her letter, and the helpers all around us. I'd like to thank all my subscribers. Don't know who you are, who my audience is. But thank you. Take a look at these pictures. This was published in 2020. Emerson loved writing letters. Mail carrier. My husband was a mail carrier for 30 something years. She loved writing dear. She loved writing sincerely. Most of all, she loved writing everything that came in between. Do you know how to write a perfect letter? Format? Stories, news, questions, and put a piece of her life into each one. Her brother's latest games, Taylor Swift's best songs, and her favorite jokes. Why do you never see elephants hiding in trees? Because they're really good at it. M wasn't done with the letter until it was perfectly decorated. The envelope, too. Then she sent her letters out into the world, to friends and family all over. Each letter was a connection. M's letters made a network of hellos, a network of love. <clears throat> one day, M got to thinking. There was one person who made it all possible. How come she had never noticed him before? His name was Doug. Every letter that left Em's ha hands went straight into Doug's. He was always there every day. No matter what, he kept Em's letters going out into the world. And so Em decided to write Doug his own letter. I'm Emerson. You may know me as the person that lives here that writes a lot of letters and decorated the envelopes. Well, I wanted to thank you for taking my letters and delivering them. You are very important to me. I make people happy with my letters, but you do too. You make it possible. Hmm. He must have felt happy. She put it in the box and she smiled when he took it. The next week, something remarkable happened. Doug got out of his truck, just like he did every day. But this time, he had two whole boxes full of letters. And they were all for Emerson. You see, Doug had told his friends at the post office all about Em's letters. And they had all told their friends. And soon, oh, I noticed here to the year. <laughs> Em's letter of thanks had reached nearly every mail carrier in the country. And lots and lots and lots of those mail carriers had written her back. It's good to be appreciated. The letters were filled with family, pets, hobbies. They were filled with questions, stories, confessions. I work alone in a small rural post office. I can't tell you how much it means to read your letter. Not a lot of people think about how hard we work. I know you can't write back to all of us, but maybe I can drop you a line from time to time. I have a son in Kuwait. And if you have a second to send him a letter, he would love it. They were filled with kindness. <laughs> Every one of the letters was a connection. Every letter had a piece of someone's life in it. With dozens of new pen pals, Em did what she was best at doing. She wrote letters. She wrote the dad. She wrote the dad. She wrote his son. She sent new jokes, new stories about her life, and she asked lots and lots of questions. And Emerson got to thinking about all those people out there living their lives, working hard, delivering letters, keeping people connected. There was love in their work.
And it wasn't just the mail carriers. It was the bus drivers, the grocery store clerks, the trash collectors, and the farmers. There was love in their work, too. Every day they got up and went to work. Every day they did their best. Every day they kept the world going, millions and billions of people. Every bus ride, every tomato, every bag of trash, every bag of groceries, they were possible because someone cared. Each act was an act of love, wrapping the world together in a network. Like the biggest hug ever. Emerson wished that everyone she knew would make a, take a moment to notice each one of them and thank them. Maybe even thank each other, sincerely. And here it says, hi there. The story you just read is 100% true. I know because it really happened to me. I live in South Dakota with my mom, dad, and brother, and I never expected so much to happen just because I took the time to say thank you to Doug, a person I saw every day. But it did. I got to talk to important people, be on television, and I even got a really, really special letter from someone I admire a whole lot. Hi, Taylor. All of that made me super happy, of course, but it also made me think, why was my saying thank you such a big deal? Isn't saying thank you and meaning it something we should all be doing all the time? I think so. So I'm going to keep doing it, and I hope you will too. How about I start with you? Thank you for reading my book. I hope it made you smile. And in case it didn't, here's a joke that might do the trick. How do you catch a squirrel? Climb up a tree and act like a nut. Sincerely, Emerson. Yeah, and there she is here. Uh, Emerson Weber is an 11-year-old with a passion for letter writing, art, and Taylor Swift. Emerson lives in Suey Falls, South Dakota, with her mom, dad, and brother, Finn. Jacqueline Stinkwit, this is the illustrator, grew up playing in her dad's garden and trying to avoid sunburn at the Jersey Shore. She now spends her time illustrating books for children and getting covered in finger paint with her young daughter. She also loves practicing all different types of handwriting and especially enjoys incorporating lettering into her artwork. Her favorite song by Taylor Swift is Style. Visit her at www.jacquelinesinquit.com. Thank you. Have a great new year and a great day. Bye.